Hello everyone, it's Joseph here and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I am going to be making a quick tutorial guide on how to prevent texture loss aka a memory leak problem from GTA 4. So something that I found out was Andre, his downgrader tool is missing something vital to prevent the memory leak issue. So you still need to install his downgrader tool, but additionally, you're going to want to find the GTA 4 patch 1070 archive, which is from GTA All. So this one is actually the official version from Rockstar Games, but Rockstar Games has since delisted it on their website ever since the re-release of GTA 4, which we now know as today, as the complete edition. Now, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to install IV Tweaker as well, which is a mod loader, and it's also a limit adjuster utility tool for GTA 4, which also cuts your loading time in half. Okay, so this is very important. So the first thing we are going to do is click on IV Downgrader, click that EXE, and then from there, run through the software. And we are going to be clicking GTA 4 EXE, find that so I can validate your directory to downgrade GTA 4. Also, do not worry about the MD5 mismatch version. Of the hash. Um, we can also skip moving GTA 4 to another location. Now make sure you pick 1070 of course which is what this tutorial series is meant for. Now if you're playing multiplayer click configure downgrade for GFWL but I use single player so I use XLive. But if you were to use games for Windows Live you would click D sound as well. So I would also downgrade the radio from Sneed and you can also install the no EFLC music in IV fix. And I would click on the old radio station. Okay so this is kind of important here. This is just like a bit of a personal preference. But for me I install no cursor escape. I install Fusion Fix. If you're not running, if you're not running games of Windows Live, you can install X Live. And also, last but not least, I install the the uh, Zulikia patch as well. So make sure all of that is selected, and then you can hit Downgrade. So this is going to take some time to do. Okay, so let's come back to this when it is done. It is going to take about one to two minutes. So let it run the initial initialization. If anything comes up within the menu window, click yes. And we should um, return when it is done. And just like that, the downgrader tool is done. Now, um, if you haven't already, please be sure to watch my tutorial video of downgrading your complete edition save to the 1070 version. But for now, I'll, we will be skipping that. Okay, um, click exit, go back to your GTA 4 mods folder, and then now we can install the patch 7 folder as well. Okay, make sure you click update title exe. And it should run by itself as well. So again, you may be wondering why we downgrade to 1070 twice now. But the answer is, I think something... Of course, uh, you're going to want to click yes to any open menu that pops up. Um, so yes, so you, you may be wondering why I install... 
1070 twice, once from Andre and twice from the official Rockstar Games patch 7 folder? The answer is, I think Andre either coded something to where it introduces a memory leak that has not been fixed. So installing the other patch 7 files fixes it and it prevents and it it, uh, it prevents that. But you still need to install his downgrader tool for xlive and the the uh Zerkalea patches and so on and so forth. So that's why you still need both of them. So it's very important delete launch GTA 4 EXE and delete play GTA 4 EXE in your game directory folder. Okay, um, and then now, last but not least, you can downgrade the game one last time by drop by dragging and dropping IV Tweaker into the game directory itself. So you should have one folder, which is mod loader, one exe, which is play GTA 4 exe, one ASI, which is IV tweaker, one INI, which is IV tweaker again. Okay, so that should be it there. Okay, so a menu of IV tweaker is going to pop up saying we need to update the Zilikia patch. So let's click OK. And then from there, the game will launch itself. All right, so as you guys have just seen there, the legal text and the game logo is popping up, meaning the game has officially been downgraded and it's working and it's launching. So as you may have noticed, the loading screen time has actually been cut significantly down due to us installing IV Tweaker. So that mod also helps us make GTA 4 a bit more optimal and it also helps us make it more stable as well so um again this is just to kind of wrap up the video showing you guys that this does work as we can now get into the game as well so you may have asked the question why do you install the 1070 downgrade twice i kind of answered that already but i'll do it again for the outro uh, primarily i think the way andre has did it in the downgrader tool I think something has happened for that to introduce eventually the loss of textures. So now we put in the official but since delisted patch 7 files from Rockstar Games which was publicly available before the release of the complete edition around 2020. So. Since then, it was uploaded to GTA All as an archive, and I feel that patch 7 folder is what is helping me prevent memory leak issues, aka lost uh, textures. Additionally, um, we have installed IV Tweaker, which I never used before, and after doing some research, I felt this was the best solution to preventing loss of textures aka memory leaks in GTA 4. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. You can kind of consider it a full downgrade uh, series. We downgraded to 1070. We got the game more optimized and more stable. All you, all you need to do now is downgrade your save to 1070 which you can do so in this video below in the description. Don't forget to do that as well. Um, apart from that, uh, happy modding. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're in my Discord community server, um, this will be the full video showing you how to downgrade GTA 4 with the tool from Andre 
use the patch 7 folder, the archive from GTL, which was originally from Rockstar Games, and also installing IV Tweaker to help you optimize and stabilize GTA 4 even further. So thank you all of you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions about GTA 4 or any modding uh, support requests, please research to let me know down below. I hope this helps you with the texture loss issue. And again, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. Happy modding. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.